What's up, guys? We're here to talk about the Falcon and Winter Soldier, episode one, called A New World Order, in which Mephisto is in this goddamn show. I'm already calling it. Stop. How's that for an intro? What's up? I man? love it, dude. I love it. Hey, like, I was, I was late to the party. Out of my eyes. <laughs> I was late to the party, man. I didn't watch this shit till yesterday. Like two fucking full days after it aired, man. And normally I'm usually watching hey, it at like man. 2 a.m. I know. Some Marvel fan I am. I should just go to D.C. Anyways. Yeah, dude. Falcon Winter Soldier, man. What'd you guys think? Dude, I thought it was great. I'm going to go first. All right, fuck it. I thought it was great. Uh, I felt like I was watching a movie. I mean, the quality, the action, the effects. Uh, and God, man, I mean, what an opening scene. So much fun. And then, you know, they didn't, <clears throat> they didn't have to, they didn't use that as a crutch. I mean, they actually went in there and they gave these guys a story. And, uh, yeah, man, I'm, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited about, I mean, I've watched it three times and that was even with a busy weekend. Um, I think it's great. I think Anthony Mackie did an awesome job. Um, I'm loving the, 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 win, the winter soldiers, uh, his life, man. He's what he's going through. I mean, I, that's just, man. Yeah. I'm, I'm happy. Yeah. Man. I'm yeah happy. It's something, it's something new. It's something new. Like I wasn't expecting anything like that, but I love it because we've never really, Mm -hmm. seen that side of Bucky before it's kind of, that's what I love about these shows man like Wanda and Vision you know all these side characters that have been kind of side characters in the movies like they're all front and center now and it's like you learn and learn about all these guys and what they're going through it's it's real cool it's cool I, I, love I actually liked it better than I've actually liked this better than WandaVision so oh far. yeah me me too that, that was so, a, like you say it felt like a movie that felt like an MCU yeah. movie I mean holy yeah. shit dude that opening scene with with Falcon and, and Batrock, that was cool to see him back. Yep. Um, Jean but, uh, fucking high octane Pierre, energy, sorry. man. Yeah, that was great. Arturo, what you got, baby? Are, are you got done? <laughs> yeah, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Are you the oh wait, by the way, I was gonna. Say, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Go it ahead, was, brother. It was really good. I enjoyed it. It it, it humanized the guys. Um, it shows what life with uh without Stark money. You know, it's like I mean, they're they're sitting there trying to pay the bills. They're 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 real, real dudes that are have real problems. So it really really ties you to them. And of what I've seen in the previews coming up, there's just a really good buddy chemistry between the two. Mm -hmm. I'm really looking forward to that. And yeah, that opening sequence was just absolutely amazing. They even you even get to see Winter Soldier kick some ass too. So all in all, it's really really good. Plus, uh. What do you think about the, uh, what do they call them, the, the flag waivers? I thought it was great. And, and and real quick about Bucky is I liked it because we saw a flashback of him in his Winter Soldier days. And you could tell, like, how haunted he is by that. And it's, he's such a completely different person now. It's like, that was really cool. Because at first I was like, I didn't know it was a flashback. At first, I was like, wait, he's got long hair yet? He's still got long hair. He's got the mask back on. And I was like, oh, this is a flashback. Okay. And just, like. I, I can't imagine how much he's been suffering from that shit. So they did a really good job of him of showing him going through that shit and how it leads into that old Chinese man is just fucking yeah. heartbreaking. That's heartbreaking. And, uh, and his date. <laughs> but <didn't> yeah. <laughs> that was terrible, man. man. You know, I mean, I think, I think it was like, like Art said, it was great watching him have to show the money struggles and everything. But realistically, I obviously there's nothing realistic about any of this shit. It's superhero stuff. But yeah. I mean, we all know that Stark would have taken care of his fellow Avengers, or he would have had a living will. Like right when he was dying, he probably had his program in the background, Jarvis writing shit up, splitting stuff up. I mean, even if he didn't, Pepper Potts would have taken care of everybody, man. I mean, they, they certainly wouldn't have been would not have been struggling. You know? Yeah, and I, I thought it was I thought it was interesting because what do you do? Like I, I felt bad for Sam. It's like what the fuck you want me to do, bro? I haven't been here in five years. I've been been gone i mean what can, what can i do i, I can't help yeah, they, it you know they, 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 they fed the story a little bit in that regard um but it was still great i mean i loved it yeah that dude was a dick by the way that fucking bank guy i wanted to slap that smirk right off his face but um yeah is that, Mephisto? Like, is that Mephisto's act? that was really good could be could the bank be. of Mephisto? Hmm. hey <laughs> don't don't get me started man i'm gonna do this shit for six weeks bro Hey, that's one thing I learned from WandaVision is I'm not theorizing <clears throat> shit at all. I'm just enjoying it. Just enjoying yeah. it. 
We're gonna play because Mephisto. WandaVision let me, WandaVision let me down. So uh, drinking game every time I say Mephisto, we do a shot. We'll do that next episode. <laughs> yeah, we'll be fucked up by the end of it. But no, uh, it was great though, man. Yeah, Falcon's yeah, it was. Suit was tight. Obviously, Stark technology. Um, yeah, it was badass, man. Red Wing. I was cheering on Red Wing, man. So yeah, and and um. Art made a really good point last night. We were talking about the uh, the asshole at the end, um, John Walker, U.S. agent, uh, who I read about in in that's the only after I didn't the, like. <laughs> yeah, Art sent me some stuff that I read about uh, his history, and at first I thought he was just a random guy they put in a suit just to replace him. I didn't know he had powers as well, yeah. so I don't know if they're going to go that route. They probably are that he has uh, super soldier serum. So Art brought up a really good point about the Flag Smashers. I thought. You know, when that scene was going on, I was like, oh, shit, this dude has, okay, this dude's strong. He's probably got powers. I never thought that, oh, shit, Art might be right. What if he's an experiment? Like, they've been experimenting on people mm-hmm. trying to replicate Steve's serum. So, well, in that's the MCU, gonna- they've a bunch of different people all tie into that super soldier serum. I yeah. mean, the, technically, the um, banner was working on a gamma radiation way of replicating the serum. Then we came the Hulk, um, the Weapon X program in Canada that, you know, make, made Wolverine kind of what he is. So everyone's trying. And yeah. uh, I know that uh, the, the U.S. agent gets some type of serum. And technically, if you read the, the, the fandom, he's stronger. He's, he's, he's tougher than, than Captain America. But, you know, Cap always wins in the end. But still. Yeah, I mean, he looks like a dick. He, he does. He looks like a douchebag. Smart, his little. He looks. That, he looks like he's he looks dumb, man. <laughs> he looks like they haven't given the serum yet. You know, because it's uh-huh. it like like a little brother wearing his big brother suit. You know, but but no, but just his facial expression. I don't know, man. It just it just rubbed me wrong. I was like, what the fuck? Is this guy. There's like? a lot of ways they can go with him because at one point he's a hero, one point he's an anti-hero, one point he's a villain. So I just yeah. depends on to, to to address him. In this series. Hmm. So do you think it's going to come down to him fighting Falcon and Winter Soldier for Falcon to get the shield back? Yeah. Or is he going to team up with them to take on another villain? No, I think no. it's going to be the main reason why Falcon takes up the mantle and goes back and becomes Captain America. He's going to, yeah. he's actually Mephisto and instead of USB. <laughs> <laughs> now, here's a question. Where is Captain America? That's a good point. I thought he was dead at first, but... No, nah, he's not dead. He's just retired. Yeah. He's no, just I thought retired. he was going to a funeral, but then when he was giving it to the Smithsonian, I was like, oh, shit, okay, maybe he's not dead. Maybe he's... You know, they 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 say that the old man we saw in Endgame was from another timeline, but he hopped over. So did he go to his timeline, or did he stay in ours? Like, Peggy's probably dead at this point, so I don't know. Why would he be that's from another point. timeline? That's 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 this timeline. He just aged through it all. No, they said when he went back and put the stones back, right? He stayed in the past, and that created another branched reality. Oh, and then he hopped over back into the main timeline as an old man. That's what they say. Is so, that what they say, Zach? Do they also say it's Mephisto? You know, that's what the Ru- that's what the Russo brothers said. Ah. The- oh, my bad. But <laughs> did, he the did he take the serum as an old man? I guess he yeah. Did. Because, you know, if he's he's Bucky's friend about Bucky's age, he's about 106 years old. Yeah. He was also on ice, though. Did the serum ever wear off, or do you have it for, for life? I mean, you have it for life. It just increase it, you, you age slower. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so, so it gets a little weaker. Is there going to be a Steve Rogers, you know, cameo before the end of the series? That was my next question. Do, do you think we're going to see Steve at some point? Because it could be, it could old be a or young, though, too. So, in the com- like a current flashback or a current cameo in the comics, they at one point, like uh, if I remember correctly, Red Skull or someone like that sucks the super soldier serum out of any ages. Ooh, what so the fuck? While, yeah, I know it's weird. So, for a while, he becomes the guy behind the computer to the Avengers, huh? He's a little old man that, that that's running the show for the Avengers because he can't. He's not, <clears throat> Maybe they go that route. Maybe at one point we see him, you know, calling the shots for the guys. Mm-hmm. 
Yes. But that that actor's contract's up, right? Chris Evans? Yeah, I think his contract's up. So well, there was a rumor going around a while back about him possibly signing a new deal or something. Yeah. To make an appearance in something. I don't I don't know. I saw something like that. That would be I would I wouldn't be surprised. But they might be I mean they might be filming him for some for some uh flashback stuff too. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised either if he shows up in this. Um, but I also said the same thing about Doctor Strange and WandaVision, and here here we are. So, you know, <laughs> but this seems more fitting because it's about, you know, the mantle that Steve had. So, you know, it's a little more direct reference. But, yeah, I could see him showing up. And a flashback would be good, too, because we don't really have enough flashbacks of him and Bucky. We've had a few, but, you know, I, I like that one flashback in Winter Soldier when they're talking about, uh, how he'll always be there for him. So, I'd still personally rather see Bucky with the shield than anybody. No, he can't. I know. I know he can't have it. Yeah, he can't have yeah, it. Was, his, yeah, he has red in his ledger. I was even shocked, dude. Red, this is <laughs> red. I was really shocked when he was with a doctor, and so he got an official pardon. Dude, that dude yeah. killed so many people. He's he yeah murdered the Stark family. You know, I mean. He's killed a lot of people to get to get a pardon. That's pretty amazing. Or he's white. Remember though, he's he's white, and uh, he's, he's white. Under, he was, that he was and under, I guess they he was having a he was having a bad day. That and I guess they saw that he helped you know uh, the Avengers fight Thanos and save the world. So I guess that qualifies as a pardon. I think that uh, I think it's just a case of white privilege. Yeah, probably, probably. <laughs> Which I I do I do honestly like how they're kind of addressing the whole. Not really, not so in your face this first episode, but I think throughout the series, they might address some of the racism and um, especially with Sam, you know, his sister had that comment, like something along the lines of, yeah, it seems to always happen to us. So I, I do like how they're going to touch upon that um, at some point. I always think that's a good topic to handle, especially given the times we live in now. But yeah, I was going to say uh, you said red in Bucky's ledger. So that's kind of getting my wheels turning. You know who also is red is Mephisto. Oh, Jesus. So I want to say, <laughs> could Bucky be Mephisto? Could I'm going to have so much fun with that, dude. <laughs> I'm going to have so much fun with that. Could be. So is this series going to be, in your opinion, it's going to be a segue to something? Because WandaVision was a, a segue for the Strange movie. Well, they I did say it's going to tie standard. into a few things, but I mean, yeah, with, yeah I think with Brody there, I guess it could tie it into Armor Wars, but is it going to tie into some bigger movie? I mean, these guys are, they're not as heavy hitters in the, or, or as impactful in the grand scheme of things as far as the phase goes, in my opinion, but it could, but I, I, yeah. I, I doubt it. I think it might be, it's only six, what, six episodes, right? Yeah. Mm hmm. Well, so. 12 if you count one division style of 30 minutes yeah yeah this, right. one, this one was 40 40 minutes i think and yeah, no and no end credit scene no end credit scene yeah they'll probably save that for the last episode or something yeah but uh but dude if they if, if one and we all know one division was great this is starting off awesome i mean dude all the shows are i mean i'm i don't want to jinx it but i'm excited about all the other shows you know wow hats off yeah. to marvel hats off to disney on this Good yeah, job. I, I I think uh, you know if if Sam does take the shield up by the end of the series, I think that you know they'll probably build up to another Avengers where he's part of the team leading the charge. And like I said earlier, it'd be kind of cool if Rhodes was there too. Uh, does it, does Iron Man die in the comics? Does Rhodes ever like take up the Iron Man mantle, or is he just always War Machine? No, he becomes Iron Man, doesn't he? Art? Who? Rhodes. Rhodes. Rhodes does not become Iron Man. Someone does, okay. don't they? Um, there's, I know a, a girl becomes Iron Man. Oh, Riri Williams. Yeah. Then there's a, a kid that becomes Iron Lad. Yeah. Huh. Okay. But pretty but, much, uh, yeah. I, I think the the show that comes to mind most is Armor Wars. That I could see this leading into. That, that's about it, though. I can't really think of anything oh. else. You know. Because I, I don't really see, like, where's Bucky going to be after this? You know, he's not going to get his own movie or anything. So is he going to show up in the next Avengers or or what? You know, it's He'll like. He'll be there like one of the lesser characters like he always has been. Although in the, 
Winter Soldier, he was not a lesser character, but yeah, <clears throat> yeah, it's uh, and then you know, like I said, as far as Sam, same thing with Cap. You know, if he's the new Cap, which I think that'd be really badass. Mm -hmm. Now, what if they find a way to enhance Sam towards the end? Ooh, that's a good so point. he's that's like good. comes out and he's all like, then he that's then he can good. legit do Captain America style stuff. I mean, yeah, he, yeah, yeah, he's he's great. He's a great fighter. He's great in combat. But at the end of the day, he's you just can't give the man a shield and become Captain America. You know, I mean, symbolically, yes, yeah. but Sam couldn't go toe to toe with ninety percent of the people that Cap was going toe to toe with. Man, I mean that, uh, that the character what's uh, Bat Batrox? What was it? In the very in Batrock. The, in this, yeah, Batrock. I mean, Batrock. Yeah. yeah, I mean, dude, he. I don't know. I mean, I, I would like to see Sam get enhanced somehow, if possible. But, but then it also makes it more human, like Art was said earlier. Makes it, it does make it more. You, you can, you can, you can. You're more attached to him this way. So yeah, maybe Sam not. doesn't need to get enhanced. He's he's pretty freaking amazing as is. Yeah. What he can do. Yeah. I mean, yeah. But could you imagine him going up yeah. against like Thanos? You know, he's just a. Who? <laughs> anybody against Thanos? Come on, man. Yeah, that was a bad. Uh... Well, who's another villain that, that Cap went up against? Like a strong ass fucking villain. Red Skull. Red, uh, he really wasn't much of a fighter, though. In the comics, though, I mean. Yeah. Oh, wait till they introduce Taskmaster. Yeah, but ooh, no shit. I, Task I, I, I hope they do him right. I hope they do him ooh, right. Ooh, what, dude, what if Taskmaster is one of the Flash people, Flash Bomb people? Yeah, that's what I was going to ask you before we end this, this episode. You say flash Bomb um, people? Flash bomb, flash flag, flash flash swallower. flag smasher, flag flag, flag, flag swallowers, flag swallowers. <laughs> are the flag smashers? What is it? Yeah, yeah. I was going to ask you. Uh, it, what are the flag smashers? Are they from the comics, or is this something completely new for the show? I, I, I never. I, I'm going to be bad and say I never really followed Captain America yeah, I think, much. I think oh, okay. But. Uh, Huh. I, I'm assuming they're, you know, they're good. You were probably going to go along and find out that it's Zemo behind all that stuff. And, um, oh, that's right. I keep forgetting Zemo's in this too. That's yeah. right. So Shit. Zemo, how's, yeah. Zemo's okay. Probably going to fit into that somehow. And that they're probably trying to create super soldiers. They, yeah. they and obviously that, that political thing was a, a bank heist, you know, so they need the funding for that. So, yeah. so let's talk about Zemo. So the last time we saw Zemo, he was, he was locked up. He was locked up with Black Panther, right? Black Panther wasn't going to let him kill himself. And yeah, and then he got so locked he was, up in that in cage. And there was no way Homeboy was going to be out on bail or something. So he must have. And he, and he doesn't have superpowers. So how did he get out of jail? How did, what's, what's his deal? How did he have to have superpowers to break someone out. No, I understand that. But, I mean... He didn't seem to have any other resources other than his own. But now, granted, he had that big EMP device. He had all sorts of stuff, but he seemed to be a lone wolf in uh, Winter Soldier, didn't he? Well, in Winter Soldier, I remember they alluded that there were oh, civil other... Civil War. He was in Civil War. I'm oh, sorry, Civil War. Sorry, yeah. Yeah, there were other yeah. guys that they were experimenting with. Yeah, yeah, and they were all dead. He killed them, but he he killed them all though. Did he? Oh, yeah, yeah they were in those tubes. He yeah. went to so Siberia said, and killed worry. them. All. I killed him in their sleep. Yeah. Uh, maybe he scrounged some serum from them or his own version of the serum. Yeah. See, I'm wondering if he blipped away uh, ah. Zemo or if he stayed and during the blip, he somehow got out of prison or whatever. That's true. In the chaos, maybe he found. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Former obviously, I think we'll get I, I think we'll yeah. get what happened to <laughs> don't even start. I think uh, I think we'll find out what happened to him, but yeah, I'm 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 very interested to see what they're doing with Zemo, because I don't know, man. I I'm kind of I don't know. I'm kind of confused on why he would be back. You know, the Avengers are gone. I mean, there's really nothing left. But I don't. I know in that one trailer he said something about superheroes need to go or something. So he's just clearly anti-superhero but all right let's wrap it up man let's get out of here we'll be back next week with episode two of hey, winter soldier falcon lives matter episode two right. discovering mephisto in every they do. marvel 
project. I'm telling you, bro. Don't doubt Mephisto. Or is he, Zach, is, he is coming. He's going to be in this what's, series. What's his full name again, Zach? I already forgot, man. Mr. P- Mr. Philopolis. <laughs> Mr. Philopolis, he's Greek. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Philopolis. Something like that. All right, y'all. We're getting out of here, man. Peace. Later. Late. Late. Be sure to follow the podcast on Twitter and Instagram at The Indie Rundown and like our Facebook page, The Indie Rundown Podcast.